Hey friends, what's up? How are you all doing on this gorgeous day? So, um, it is Sunday, September 24th, and um, I am painting outside here. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. It's a hot summer day, and um, I've been painting in oils. And so some of you were asking me <clears throat> to talk about, <clears throat> like, my painting process and how I go about painting and um, so I actually wanted to show you how I started this one here and then I forgot to film it's like uh, okay see the thing is when I'm getting this energy that I have to paint I have to paint I cannot even go like get the cell phone and start talking about it because I really have to paint that's I just need to create and move and move right away there's like if somebody was around here that would film that would be another story yet I I need to just start it grab the canvas so with this one here there there is a an acrylic an acrylic underpainting and um, then basically with the acrylic I prepare my canvas and also what I found is that the oils sit much better on top of the acrylic and I let the acrylic painting, which is a rather rough painting, and I bring in some, some hues and um, that will actually also facilitate the oils to have... Um... Hmm. Thank you, Kitty, for licking my toe. Wow, that was so cute. <laughs> Shambhala is here. <laughs> I'm not sure whether you can hear her. She's happy. Anyway, this, this underpainting allows the the oil to really sit well and yeah it's much more easy and like I tried first to just paint on top of the blank canvas and um, it was not that easy they just sit better that's my thing I love it so there's an acrylic underpainting underneath a rather rough one and then I go in and um, paint actually the oil painting on top and of course I change things around it's never that it's gonna stay as it is. I go, uh, can I show this here? Okay, I got uh, stung by a bumblebee. Well, anyway, I go in and I create all these steps and who knows where I'm going with this. Um, still not quite finished. So this is a 36 by 36 um, canvas. And I just love create, I love painting flowers. And I just really, another thing that I love is color. So I might actually still, there are still some rougher areas here that I might go in. And I might also leave some rough spots. I like sometimes, sometimes I create like a painting that still has rough areas and then very detailed areas. So you might have noticed, if you know my painting, I started very ab abstract paintings. They were rougher, I painted faster. Then I had a whole time period when, <laughs> when I really enjoyed very detailed paintings and really huge canvases where I went into the details even with acrylics with which is a lot more challenging than with oils with oils it is like such an ease it's unbelievable and I also found a great brand of oil paints they are from Berlin and Germany and funny story, the first oil paints that I got from my parents when I was in my teens was the very same brand of oil paints that I now love so much. They are amazing quality. It's Lucas Oils. Amazing quality. They brilliant colors, just really gorgeous. Um, you know, the I really recommend always anybody who I'm talking to and also in my classes really don't save on on the materials you will have so much more fun I don't I just I just promise to my body and my being that I will not save like cut cost with buying cheap materials unless they are <laughs> in a garage sale or um, in a sale but really going for the good brands the pigments um, th there's just such a fun with like when you see the depth of color and and it is really the 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 pigments make a total difference the quality of the paints make a difference the smoothness and the ease of application make a huge difference 
and yeah so this painting is almost done and I will I will still give it a little time not time energy time no energy today there's I see some things right now as I'm it's calling me <laughs> and then this painting will be finished and just imagine it with a beautiful frame and just shiny in a space. So I just wanted to show you when I go like here, you can see it's a it's a similar um, range of colors. This painting, it's a sunset. So let's take it away from the other one. And do you see uh, it's abstractish? And um, so this painting is finished now. I still will sign it and. So some paintings stay abstract. I really enjoy bleeding, blending um, the colors and I like creating contrasts also. This dark uh, reddish burgundy contrasting the, the bright sky. And then we have these pink and orange areas. I really enjoy this a lot. So I play, I play with that and um, yeah. I love I love painting I love colors I love creating and so here we go um, this one here has has no name yet it will tell me the name I know this already and right now it's out in beautiful nature and the cat you see her down there she is <laughs> she is my studio company and purring happily and have a great day and let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you would like me to talk about, about something specific. I promise you one day, <laughs> one day I will have you with me when I'm starting a painting. It is, um, it is different every single time. There's not one, mm, I don't have one way of starting a painting. It is usually rather spontaneous and um, it can be as easy as pouring paint on the canvas that is flat on the floor. Or I have a flower and I quickly sketch something in with oil sticks or not. I will not do that when I, mm, if I, I will not put acrylics on top of oils, let's say like this. So I will not start with an oil stick drawing and then put acrylic painting on top. That doesn't make any sense. So um, I like starting with acrylics, as I said earlier, um, and then either have it an acrylic painting or paint the oils on top. Have a great evening and I hope to see you soon somewhere. I'm soon, very soon off for Europe and maybe I will see you there. Bye bye. Thank you.